when you're 20 years old and all of a sudden you're the heavyweight champion of the world, just a few years ago you were poor, and now all of a sudden you're the king of the world. That's really crazy. You know, so young, it's really crazy. I, I was, I, I was unable to handle it. I wasn't expecting that. That was a really sucker punch right there. Charlie <laughs> Murphy. That's a real sucker punch right yeah. there. I wasn't ready for that one. Charlie Murphy told us a story, and it's animated. It's on YouTube now of you and him coming over your house in a limousine, and you had a was it a lion or a tiger? Tiger. <laughs> See, he must have thought it was a lion, but yeah, it was a tiger. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it is one of the craziest fucking stories. I always when so for people that don't know, I got to hang out with you at one of my shows one time, and it was a great. I had the best time talking to you about everything. What made you think you could get a tiger? Like, how did that even happen? <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm in. Um, this is right? really interesting. I'm, and so um, I'm in prison at the time. So I'm in prison. I'm talking to my car dealer at the time, and he has a he has some. Um, Cars that belong to a friend of mine that's both a friend of ours, and he's discussing if he doesn't pay for these cars, I'm going to sell these cars to somebody and get some horses and stuff. I said, what, you can get horses and <laughs> trade horses in for cars? Because I had a lot of cars, so I said, I'll probably get some horses too. <laughs> and he said, yeah, man, you can get, you get cougars, lions, tigers. I know this guy got exotic. I said, you do? Can you get me some tigers? He said, yeah. And the what? guy told me, and the guy said, man, imagine how cool that be you be. Because I had a bunch of fans. Because imagine that man, you be in an Aston Martin or a Ferrari, and you have a tiger right now. Next to you, man. That would be so awesome. And I'm a young guy. I'm, I'm saying to myself, "Wow, that would be cool, right?" I said, "Yeah, get me some cubs, man." Oh and then I, when I came home, I had those cubs right there waiting for me. So you raised them as cubs, yeah? Because that's how, that's how you were. Because I would see footage of you like fucking smacking them around and jumping on one of your tigers, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Oh, no, I had them since they were babies. They had their mothers. Their mother wow. since they were babies. Now, did it ever get? <laughs> this is a crazy picture. You in your underwear with a tiger on a chain. That is that is one of the that's the that champ is right like, there. That's you at peak crazy. Yeah, insane. Yeah. Tom, what was going through my mind? Yeah. I don't know what made me think about my friend said, Mike, you can get some awesome animals. And I'm saying, really? Are you serious? He said, really? I'm gonna get some horses. Oh, everybody gonna... does it though. That was yeah. one of the things about uh, 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 what's his face from Narcos. Oh, Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar. He got like a fucking Escobar. zoo. Escobar. Yeah. Yeah. Escobar yeah. had a whole crazy zoo. They all do it. Once Everybody, you get like that think, rich, you're like, just get some animals. Yeah, yeah you want to fuck with some animals. You know, <laughs> yeah. 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 That means, let's get some animals. <laughs> fuck these dudes. Let's get some animals. And they throw people in there with the lions and tigers, huh? Yeah. Get in there, you motherfucker. It's a, it's a real common thing <laughs> that with like is. super rich people. They and start getting lions, that's right. and tigers, and shit. Michael Jackson had all that stuff, that's too. That's right. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson had everything. Yeah, they. Hugh Hefner, Neverland. too. Neverland. Hugh Hefner Neverland. had, like, a, a zoo in his backyard. That's true. But yeah. he had weird shit, like weird birds. Yeah. I don't think he maybe had a monkey or something. He did have weird shit. No, ca nothing dangerous. I hung up there before at the Playboy Mansion. This is at the end of his career. It was, like, in, what was it, 10 years ago or something? It was pretty awesome. Yeah, that guy, man, what a life he lived. You? Yeah. Oh. In, his, in his um pajamas. They're yeah. sucking his like, balls and he's eighty and shit. And they're like, oh, deep oh no. Into his eighties. Deep into his eighties. Yeah. Even his nineties. Yeah, that's yeah. He he really here's the thing. That dude lived the lifestyle he was talking about. You know, a lot of people talk shit and yeah. you're like, you don't really do that. He was really doing it. Oh, man. he was really doing it. Oh, if I start living that lifestyle, I'll be dark. I start getting dark, you know. <laughs> You can have a little you want. Oh, that's just amazing. Too much, uh, yeah. yeah. Too much Wait, one other thing. I got to, because I got to run. And I wanted, I, I had Where to Where you ask, going, man? I got to go. <laughs> I got to go meet the wife, man. Um, oh, yeah. They'll do it. But too. they'll do it. Um, <laughs> I read one time, because, all right, so for people that know, I, I met Mike on a flight, and it was a surreal experience. You know, like from, from being a kid and thinking, like, this is Superman. That's what I thought as a kid. I, it's just, you know what I mean? Like yeah. seeing those, when you see it as a kid, too, I think it's different. Like, you're just like, Whoa, that is so nuts. Like these 11 second knockouts. And Joe, know what's so bizarre? Periodically, even to this day, people come up to me and talk about the experience that they saw him and he talked about meeting me. So, is that true? <laughs> All the time, right? It's on special. It's on It's on, it's on, uh, it's on mostly ask stories. Me, is that true? Yeah, mostly stories. You meet him. And it was, a, it was a surreal experience. And, and, you know, we spoke on the plane. And, and then, like, when I thought we were done talking, you know, I, I faced forward and then he came back and, like, Tapped me on the shoulder. I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, like, <laughs> like Mike's talking to me. I'm down here, like seat belt, seat belted in. But then we land, and and he was like, "Oh, where's your show?" And 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 I go, "Oh, here, it's here." I give him the number. Never expect to hear. Hits me up the next day, and he's like, "We're coming to your show." And I was like, "Oh my god!" And I really did say, "Like, I'm amazed that you're coming." And he said, "It's all love." 
and I just said, I love you. Because I didn't know how to, how to, what to say. And then that was good. And he that was, was like, cool. he was he's like, all right, man. And then I hung up the phone. And then and, uh, I, I remember I called the uh, the Pittsburgh Improv Manager, and I go, hey, man. I just go, you're not gonna believe this, but. Tyson's coming to the fight tonight. He goes, Mike Tyson? I go, no, fucking Tyson Chicken. Yeah, Mike Tyson's coming tonight. He's like, I'll corridor off a whole thing. And, you know, and I didn't know he was at the show because it, the show had already started and I didn't see him arrive. When we go back to the green, after I, the show, I walk off stage and he grabs me and he goes, let's go to the green room. So he took me to my green room, right? Like he was like, and I was like, fuck yeah. And we hung out in that green room over an hour. And just shooting the shit and talking. And when I forgot, like, the time had passed, I opened the door. The entire staff, entire staff, is lined up at the door to meet him. Like, that's the effect that he has on the group, you know? Wow. Like, they're waiting in a line for an hour outside the green room. And, like, you know, we talked about boxing, about life. It was, it was fascinating. Um, I, one of the things I really appreciated about uh, you as a fighter was like that you really knew that you were putting on a show so that that's something that i feel like i miss you know there's there's no one that put on the show the way you did like you knew that people bought tickets and and paid for the pay-per-view um and then it you know it's still like one of my great memories man it was a thrill to meet you um so i just wanted to stop by and say hi sounds like you're wrapping it up i ramping it up uh, yeah he has to go i do i do (laughs) oh by the way did you buy seven bentleys that were the same color no, but I bought around seven Bentleys before. Damn. They're Rolls Royces. I wanted to ask. But you shit. did give away one when you crashed it, right? Yeah, let me tell you cops. that story. I wish yeah. I had some time. I got in, um I was married at the time to Robin Givens and we were in some fast food drink. We were ordering food and she went in my pocket, I guess, to get some money out of my pocket to pay for it and she had some saw some condoms came out and she was mad, so she got in the car. And then, boom, she crashed the car into another um, car that was just parked there. Boom. And she hit somebody, and um, she hurt their arm. And then um, the cops came. And so the cops came, and the cops were saying, hey, what happened here? Right? And um, I was afraid that they were going to arrest me or arrest us. So I said, well, nothing happened, officer. Um, Nothing. And then the guy was... And it was the guy with a broken arm. I said, hey, you know, sir, why don't you just take the car? You know, you deserve it because you've been do- doing a lot. Because I didn't want to get arrested. I didn't have a license or anything. Right. And I didn't want my wife to get in trouble. I said, why don't you just take it? You know, it, wasn't that. it was around 230 at the time. So why don't you just take it? It'd be okay. And the guy said, hey, don't tell me that. And then once he said that, I said, got him. <sighs> I said, I got him. And I said, hey, man, take it, man. Do this, man. You deserve this. Take it. And they took wow. it. Wow. But before that, the guy, some guy, arm was broken, and he, I gave him my money. I said, take the money. And then he came back to the police. My arm is better. Captain, now you get away from me. I'm not going to tell you to get away from me no more because he didn't want to mess this deal up with this car because the guy complained oh, that's he's hilarious. not going to get this car. That's hilarious. So the cops said, don't fucking come near me again. You that hear is me? hilarious. So the guy just backed off, and I said, hey, go ahead, man. I'll see you later. And I took off with my wife. I didn't want us to get in trouble. But they made him give away the car, right? They made him. So he cooked it. I went back to my office, and I said, give me my fucking car back. I went to the really? Hall. Yeah. Got <laughs> he got fired. He did? <laughs> yeah. He got... Oh, my God. <laughs> he probably oh. hearing his name. I'm going to get that bastard oh, type. No. <laughs> so you gave it to him? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted my Indian gift. I wanted my car back. <laughs> I wanted my car back. Oh, no. You oh, imagine man. Mike Tyson calls you up and says, "Give me my fucking car oh, back." Yeah. Like, okay. Shit! Yeah, <laughs> it's outside, man. I got it for God you. God damn it! Listen, what I was gotta I tell thinking? you something. I gotta tell you something. You guys know I embarked on the marijuana business. Yes, the yes. Cannabis business, right? This, this uh, beautiful box that you that get. is yeah, a thank beautiful you so box, much for that. by the way. Tyson that's Ranch, so awesome. Thank you, man, for accepting it. My pleasure. I'm yeah, honored. That's, that's a cool ass box, man. Yeah, Tyson Ranch is gonna be opening up pretty shortly. Yeah, yeah, you guys have. I saw the I mean, plans. 2022. This is a big deal. I mean, really? this, this place is gigantic. Which uh, state? It's it's in California. It is here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're they're setting up like a resort. Really?